All right. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakhadash. It's all praises to the world cause God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, be the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. Uh, this one I'm going to call, um, I'm the brother Tazabon at Great Millstone, Arizona camp. This one I'm going to call, expose him. His bones are full of the sins of his youth. So uh, I'm going to read this article. You know, going into the topic, like uh, the apostle uh, said, you know, expose him, expose him. Now, this is a little history on a, 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 the Dole, uh, a company that later on turned into the Dole Fruit Company, right? Now, it says uh, Chiquita Bananas, right? It says, uh, I'm going to jump down, though. It says... Um, Back in back in uh, 1951, uh, when they were still called the United Fruit Company, a a president by the name of uh, Je Jacobo Ar Arbenz took office in Guatemala along with uh, along the things that got him elected. The biggest was the ambitious plan that would dis distribute uncultivated land. To over one thousand, uh, over one hundred thousand peasants in Guatemala. So this was a Jake that was trying to take care of his own people, right? It says the main obstacle to this plan was the United Fruit Company, which later on gets called Dole. It says, um, who just, who just happened to own the land, right? It says according to their estimates, the land was valued at around five thousand two hundred. Uh, five five hundred twenty five thousand dollars when the Guatemalan government made a low ball offer exactly that that amount. U uh, United Fruit responded with a completely uh, logical counter offer of sixteen million. When Arbenz uh block belt, uh, the United Fruit uh, it says United Fruit reportedly took the term break down in negotiations to dizzying new heights uh, by asking the C CIA to intervene. And this is all true history, right? When you look at the history on this stuff, this, this d demolished the country. It says, and boy, did they intervene. God damn, uh, did they intervene. It says, along with, another con with other connections in the Eisenhower administration, American Edomites, right? Edomites all over, really. Then the CIA had Alan Dole's, a uh, then then CIA head Alan Dole's had previously served on the United Fruits Board of Trustees. With what kind of direct access? With that kind of direct access to the highest levels of government, uh, and with McCarthyism. In full swing, we imagine the telephone conversation that resulted in the CIA intervening on half, on behalf of the United Fruit went something like this. Now, I'm going to jump through this conversation because it's stupid. It says, uh, with the CIA on board to help uh, with their cause, United Fruit launched a massive, highly successful propaganda campaign to paint Ar Arbenz as a communist threat to the United States, including the including the campaign was a film linked to the to the taking of the united fruits land to the communist empire awesomely entitled why kremlin hates bananas some uh, it says uh some shit just writes itself with the general uh, public su sufficiently convened uh that guatemala was a threat it says the cia was free to pounce promptly and promptly launched uh, Operation PB Success. They didn't call it because it. They didn't call it that because it failed. In short order, the U U.S. Uh, replaced a freely elected Arbenz, who only wanted to bring his people up from the slums by giving them uncultivated land, meaning they were gonna have freshly irritable land to live off of, man. With a right-winged uh, dictator more willing to answer to the demands of the U.S. Uh, uh, of the United Fruit 
in Guatemala's brief filtration that democracy and prosperity was over. It says, uh, but the story does ha have a happy ending. The civil war that resulted from the CIA initiated uh, coup did finally come to an end in, in 1996. This is four years after I myself was born. So this is the this is the things that the, this devil does within the world, right? This is the, these are the things that this devil does in the world, and you have men out there that act like we have to uh, we have to uh, go easy on this devil, not out him out, not not tell all his business, and we got to forgive this devil. Look at the things that he's done in the earth. Now I'm gonna start off with this scripture, man. This is um, Isaiah 47 and one. It says, "Come down." And sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind the mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. You see, the Lord is exposing you devils on all ends. Now, this is just a tip of the iceberg of some of your wickedness. This is recent wickedness. Now, I'm a little well. I remember to put this uh, article in the chat, and you guys can look up this this history on this. You can go on YouTube. There's actually documentaries on this one with Eisenhower that I just read. Right? There's actually documentaries that goes into these devils' uh, shit. Even uh, with Caesar Chavez, right? Um, when he was doing his whole fast because uh, how they were having a Jake. The, the Latinos over there in South America in the banana fields uh, working within those chemical waste plants where it was turning men sterile because they wanted to pe uh, throw pesticides on the fields, right? And even uh, the company that was allowing that, uh, I believe it was Dole Bananas, right? Even the company that was allowing that knew that it was happening and and the company that was supplying the 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 pesticides wanted to stop, but they said if you if you stop giving us the pesticides for overseas uh, use, you're going to be in breach of contract. These devils have no care for life, right? But you devils are going to be uh, exposed, man. Let me get this one. Uh, this is in the book of Job. Twenty and uh. I'll start at 10. It says his children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods. And these devils are definitely going to restore our goods. Man. Right now, they're seeking to please the poor. Right now, they're sitting there talking about Black Lives Matter and BS. Trying to sit here and actually give Jake a, uh, 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 trying to act like they want to give Jake a fair shake. But it's only because what? They're at the time now where Esau is, is in the same spot as the average day Israelite down and out so now they want to be cool with you because you ain't on the same level now if these devils had a little more money and more opportunities they'll look at you niggas like you were strangers right but you're the, whatever these devils have they're going to restore it unto the israelites man it says his bones are full of the sins of his youth which shall lie down with them in the dust you see a, 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 the very foundation of all these devils uh at adventures and all these devil's history is all embezzled in wickedness, man. It's all just saturated in evil, right? Going down to the dull fruit company, even down to fruit. These devils will kill you niggas religiously and don't care. They will make something that will go on for years just so you don't get a dub, right? And we're in a time now where the Lord is going to start answering you devils, man. Because the Lord said, what? Let me get this in Ezekiel. Mm. Yeah, Ezekiel 35 and 1, it says, Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus said Yahweh, power, behold, O Mount Seir, Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. I will make thee most desolate. You see, the Lord has a, has a response for the wickedness, man. The Lord has a, a full out response. And there's a you have Christians that have a problem with with judgment going against the wicked. 
Right? This is why people leave y'all y'all stuff because judgment is something that y'all don't speak of. Right? Something as simple as eye for an eye that makes sense. It's called it, it it helps with healing. Really, that does help with healing. These people talk about closure and stuff like that. Right? These things help with healing, and these devils have, have gouged out many of eyes, and yet they can see all. all. Right? It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the, ch the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, and in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, and the Lord surely lives, man. Say, Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And that goes all the way back to the book of Revelation. Right? The Lord had a judgment, and he said he was going to prepare you devils unto blood. This is Revelation 8 and 5. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she had rewarded you double unto her according to her works. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. For she had glorified herself and lived uh, deliciously, right? Going through the nations, taking even the fruits and killing people. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong as Yahweh's right hand. So for strong as Yahweh who judgeth her, you see? The Lord is, has, has something for him now. The angels even praise the Lord for the judgment that they gave, that the Lord gave to this devil. Let me see. It's in the book of Red, Revelation. Yeah, Revelation 16 and 5. It says, and I heard an angel. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Yahweh, which which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. It says, um, uh, I gotta start up. Started uh verse three. It says, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the earth, and it became as blood as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea, and the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers of in waters and fountains of waters, and it became blood. And the and I heard an angel, and I heard the angel of the waters uh, say, "Thou art righteous, O Yahweh, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged us. For they have shed the blood of the saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink. For they are worthy. You see, the Lord is going to fill you devils with blood. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't shed any pity. You didn't show any pity, any restraint when you dealt with us." So what? The Lord's not going to show you any restraint or pity, man. The Lord said uh, he's going to send out a judgment that he shall have no pity. Right? Right? And you go you go in the scriptures to tell you Esau uh, found no uh, pity, though he saw it carefully with tears. You devils got something coming, man. The Lord has something uh, obviously for you. <coughs> because like the scriptures say... Let me get this. Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. It says, "For they whose judgment was not to uh, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and are thou altogether? And shall thou altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. And who was not supposed to drink of the cup? The Israelites." Right. Verse 13, it says, for I've sworn by myself, say Yahweh, that Basra shall be a desolation and a reproach, a waste and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I've heard a rumor from Yahweh and Basra was the chief the city of Edom, the so-called white, white man, the Caucasian. An ambassador sent among the heathen, saying, gather you together and come against her and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. And people hate you devils. The entire world, even your own. 
When you go into the book of Job, it tells you his widow shall not uh, mourn over him, not lament over him. Your women don't even want you anymore. It says, thy tenderness have deceived thee and in the pride of thy heart. It says, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou uh, shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, say Yahweh. Also, Edom shall be a desolation, and everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, and all and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. It says, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the more in the neighboring cities thereof, right? Which what? They were burnt with fire, man. Thus say Yahweh, no man shall abide there, neither shall the Son of Man dwell dwell in it. Your your entire habitation. It's going to be burnt off the face of the earth and nobody's going to be able to come into it anymore. Right? There's another one. Just read it, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Ezekiel 35 and 13. It says, Thus say, uh, thus with your mouth have you boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus say, Yahweh power, when the whole earth rejoices, it, I will make thee desolate. You see, that's how the Lord treats you devils, man. When the whole earth has a, has a chance to breathe after after a thousand years of captivity, the you heathen will be put under subjection. Everybody else is going to be able to go to their own lands. They're, they're going to have a possession. But you you devils are going to be put out of the earth, man. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do me, which is a Greek way of saying Edom even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. You see? So you devils have a, there's a, a, a real reproach that's coming for you. That being said, I'm going to say, call all y'all by Shimei Shai by Shimei Kadash. Shalom.